What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, Spartans of all ages, Joker back again, once again, and today is the day. Today's the day. Today's the day! Today's the day? Today's the day! Today's the day! Tokusetsu! Rick! Today's the day! Halo has finally been shown off after nearly a year of waiting, and I've gotta say, for as much as people wanna shit on 343's dick, and rightfully so in some cases, the Halo Infinite shown off now is a leaps and bounds better than what we were shown almost a year ago. And with something like 4-5 to five months before Halo Infinite releases, that gives 343 a ton of time to polish it off, which is more than I can say for some franchises who spent their entire franchise's life cycle feeling like a 6 year long beta. But defecating on Destiny's disposition aside, we're here to talk about Halo. And I gotta say, I'm genuinely excited from what I've seen. Big Joker! I hear you cry out in your shrill, tremulous voices. What do we say about hype? Hype is the mind killer! Yeah, 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 don't quote the old magics at me, I fucking wrote them. Being excited about something doesn't mean I'm still not going to criticize the fuck out of it if it releases wanting. We do have standards to uphold after all. And 343 has a lot to prove. Though as far as I'm concerned, 343 did earn a modicum of goodwill from me by not releasing Halo Infinite in a shit state, which they could have a year ago and then promise to fix it over the next few years, like the MCC, Halo 5, Destiny, basically every AAA title on the market these days. Wow, whatever happened to bare fucking minimums? But uh, again, I digress. Halo Infinite certainly looks better than it did. The completeness of its entire package, however, remains to be seen. And I do think that's an important detail to note because Halo 5 shipped incomplete and 343 spent the next year adding features that should have been there at launch. So yeah, it's not like that criticism is uncalled for. But enough about that, I'm not here to shit on 343 and be negative, what they showed off about Halo Infinite does look good. So let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of the narrative trailer. For those of you who have not seen it, here it is. For those of you who have, there will be a timestamp on the screen right here. Spartan 117, the Master Chief. In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet, but you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. Miss Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure?
The narrative of our narrative teaser trailer likely starts not too long after the reactivation of John on the Pelican. The reactivation of John's armor draining the Pelican's power, and now they must find a new power source to reactivate the Pelican. John jumps out of the back of the Pelican and makes his way through this graveyard of both UNSC and Covenant bodies. If you recall, the Infinity was somehow destroyed, likely by the Banished, and now rests as a graveyard above a Halo ring that has also been broken. As John goes through the graveyard, he takes great care when it comes to the UNSC bodies, in contrast to that of the Banished. Take a look. You have one bullet! So I see. There even seems to be a moment of reverence, respect, even maybe guilt, that passes between John and this dead soldier as he grabs the assault rifle. I need you to understand. It's a small thing, but it adds so much weight to the character. And I think that's kind of the point. We see a lot of humanity on display here. Humanity that we see throughout the entirety of the trailer which would ultimately, in my opinion, be the self-actualization of John as a character, starting in Halo 4. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... never anything like you're going through. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. Death, humanity, what it means to be a weapon or a human weapon is something we see throughout the 343 games. And this game is no different. I need you to understand. There's not, There's much, not time. much time. If you knew how you were going to die, you knew how you were going to die. How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? It's such an interesting question to propose to John of all people, because John never had a choice in how he lived his life. He was abducted as an eight-year-old child and turned into the greatest weapon humanity has ever forged. So John couldn't have lived his life differently. And even if John could go back in time and change it all, never become a Spartan, then humanity would suffer. Hell, every living being in the Milky Way galaxy would suffer. John literally saved all of existence, and without him, there would be nothing. So while it's a fun little thought experiment to consider, John couldn't have done anything differently. This includes, but is not limited to, the destruction of Cortana at the end of Halo 4. Had John handed Cortana over for final dispensation, then he wouldn't have been able to stop the Didact, and humanity would have been destroyed. Throughout the story of Halo, John ultimately makes the best choices in every situation that he's in. And if I might digress, there's kind of another message here, a somberness to the tone of Halo Infinite that I think we must at the very least entertain, and that's the death of Master Chief. Throughout the history of Halo, how Master Chief will ultimately meet his end has been something that's been speculated on for as long as the franchise has been around. However, with Halo Infinite, it's a little different because they seem to be laying on the foreshadowing pretty thick from a message from Cortana where her voice breaks. She sounds like she's crying. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. To the big bad calling us out and telling us the tenure of how the story ends, at least in his mind. Bear your fangs! 
to one weapon telling another weapon how they thought they were going to die. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? This new Cortana SKI is apparently known as The Weapon. Created from a clone brain of Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey that was recovered from the remnants of Castle Base in the book Shadow of Reach, The Weapon has one job, to capture Cortana and self-terminate. It doesn't matter that The Weapon is a hyper-intelligent being with individuality and sentience. She's little more than a disposable weapon created for a task. That being said, I do have a theory about that that we'll get to later on in the video. I think ultimately the narrative of Halo Infinite will unfold in a way where we see the death of both Cortana and John, but maybe, just maybe, not the weapon. I see Halo Infinite as a book ending for the Halo narrative of old, and the start of a new narrative, where the mantle of responsibility is passed to the player, as a sort of Noble Six-like create a character. Which is why I think much of the marketing is centered around the player stepping into the shoes of the Master Chief. This would be, if correct, a tricky gambit by 343, as they would need to execute everything perfectly and stick the landing. And if 343 plays this smart, the simplest way to ease players into the death of Master Chief is not by replacing it. You can't replace Master Chief with somebody like Locke or Buck. It has to be the player, turning us into a Noble Six-like character, or our Spartan Four from Fireteam Crimson. Because if they don't, no one is going to ever be good enough to replace the Chief. You know, provided they kill him off. Which would be a contentious choice already, you don't want to compound that by having some insufferable new character or old character that nobody likes take his place. The replacing of Chief with the player character also makes sense from a long-term goal perspective. 343 is going with a Destiny-like 10-year plan with Halo Infinite, and so it would make sense that they want to keep the player invested by telling a more personal story for the player, because it now becomes the player's story. But I digress. Before the video ends, I wanted to go ahead and take a moment to look at this clip again. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> so, what are the odds that this is actually Cortana? I mean, after all, the new AI was supposed to die when she entered the system looking for Cortana, who wasn't there. And then, suddenly, she didn't actually die. Hmm. And then there's this hidden clip from the original Deliver Hope trailer. This, 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 this is part of me. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it is me. Hmm, times two. My theory is that throughout the course of the story, we'll either find out that the weapon has been replaced by Cortana here, or more likely, she's absorbing the fragments of Cortana. And throughout the story of Halo Infinite, she will become something new, more, different, but the same. Which, given that Dr. Halsey created Cortana and the weapon, is most definitely not an impossibility. In fact, that's kind of her MO at this point. A sort of, I told you it would do one thing, but gasp, shock, horror, lightning crackle, lightning crackle, lightning crackle, it actually does something else. It's almost like we saw Halsey do something like that in Spartan Ops. But who knows, all of this could be right, all of it could be wrong. That's the fun about theory crafting. you don't know until you know. All in all, props to 343 for the improvements in the way that Halo Infinite looks. How it plays, if it will be a full game at release, all remain to be seen, but I'm certainly more excited about Halo Infinite now than I was almost a year ago after it was first revealed. Likely because we've also seen some PvP, which I will cover in another video. Anyways, those have been my thoughts on Halo Infinite. Let me know yours in the comments below. Remember to like, but only if you did. Subscribe for more. Feel free to donate to my Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. But above all else, stay frosty.